You know, I think we've started falling in love with SUVs and crossovers so much that even Mini can't remain Mini. Now, ever since the Mini Countryman rolled onto the scene, I've always been weirded out by it, but the Countryman that I'm driving here today makes 301 horsepower and it's really fun to drive. Today, I will be giving you a tour of the 2020 Mini Countryman John Cooper Works All 4. That's a very long name. And then I'll give you my opinion on what I think about this not so mini mini. Let's do this. Now, before we get into everything else, let's kick it off with some of the cool and interesting things that you should know about the 2020 Mini Countryman John Cooper Works All 4. That's a mouthful to say, but let's get into it. First up, one of the coolest things about every Mini is the center display and the interactive lights. The lights in this circle here will respond to the various functions around the car, including when you change your drive modes, change the volume, change the temperature, and even with the parking sensors, let me show you a few in action. So let's see what happens when I change to sport mode. It'll turn full red and actually the ambient lighting all around the car will display red. And then if I go to mid, it'll be yellow. And if I go to green, it'll be obviously green. So here's what happens when I adjust the volume on the Mini Countryman. You'll see the lights turn orange and then go back when I turn it down. And the same happens when you adjust the temperature in the car. You'll see a little display go up or down on the lights. Very cool, very interactive. Probably the coolest use of the interactive lights is for the parking sensors. Say I'm backing up, it'll remain white to let me know I'm in the clear. And then as I slowly go back, it'll turn yellow to let me know that I'm getting closer to an object. There's yellow. And then when I'm about to cause some damage, it'll display red and tell me don't damage your countryman, you idiot. Now to continue with the cool lighting features of this car, one of the nicest things that I discovered here is a dedicated ambient lighting toggle. You don't have to dig through the infotainment system to select the color of your interior ambient lighting. You could just circle through them right here in this toggle. Very, very cool, very dope, love it. Next up, check this out. The driver's side has two visors. Most cars will only give you one visor for the front and let you pull it back and extend it for the side if you need it. But the Mini Countryman here cares about the driver quite a bit. So you get a front visor and then you get another one here to block the sun from burning the side of your face. Unfortunately, the passenger only gets one visor and it doesn't even extend. So they care about the driver more than the passenger. Very cool. Now dig around the infotainment system here and you'll notice a lot of cool animations for your vehicle info and settings, but check this one out. When you're in sport mode and you're about to hit the track and you just want to check the status of your car, it'll run through some options. Your range is okay. Your engine temperature looks good. It's 90 degrees outside, so we need some sunglasses. Sport mode is activated. And then be mini and get out of here. To activate launch control, or you want to make sure you're in sport mode, Make sure you're in drive and move the gear shift to the left and then turn off traction once and you're ready to go. And then you put your foot on the brake, accelerator all the way down. You'll see launch control active. Everything slides back and not bad. It's actually pretty exciting. Moving on, let's take a look at the pricing because this thing can get pretty expensive. The Countryman JCW All 4 Classic starts at $41,400. The JCW All 4 Signature starts at $44,400. And the JCW All 4 Iconic starts at $48,400. As tested here, you're looking at right over $50,000. Now that's a lot of money and there are many other options in this price range. So you really have to be a big time mini fan to spend more than $50,000 on this right here. Let's break it down a little. The base Countryman JCW Classic doesn't get many options. So if you want a cooler infotainment and the two-tone color scheme, you'll have to start at the signature trim at $44,400. But if you want things like wireless Apple CarPlay, leather upholstery and 19 inch alloy wheels, you'll have to go for the Countryman JCW Iconic at $48,400 and continue building from there. Let me know in the comments below if you would shell out more than $50,000 on a Mini Countryman JCW All 4. The only way I could really break it down in my head is that it's quicker than a lot of the hot hatches out there and you get more utility and cargo capacity. Now let's talk about power and performance. Power for the Mini Countryman JCW All 4 comes from a two liter four cylinder twin power turbo engine 
making 301 horsepower and 331 pound-feet of torque. And that's the same setup that you find in the BMW X2 M35i. So these two are siblings. Both are mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Now this thing will do zero to 60 in 4.9 seconds as officially quoted by Mini. I've hit four and a half seconds flat. And that's pretty impressive considering a lot of the hot hatches here are quite a bit slower and you have more utility in here. The BMW X2 M35i will do zero to 60 in an officially quoted time of 4.7 seconds. Now you really only have three modes. You have normal, you have sport, and then you have green. And when you're in green, you can configure green to be more efficient. You can have green climate control, have some coasting. You can see efficiencies at 92%. And then when you're actually in sport, you can also configure that. So say you're somebody like me that likes to have the drivetrain in sport, but wants a comfortable chassis, you can only select, hey, sport mode should only be changing the drivetrain and not the chassis because I want to be comfortable, but I still want to be a little risky. Let's talk about fuel efficiency. You get 23 city and 30 highway. You have a 16 gallon tank capacity. I'm averaging after a few days of aggressive driving a total of 23.3 miles a gallon. Not terrible. Let's get into the looks because when it comes to the exterior design of the Mini Countryman, it looks pretty mini even though it's pretty biggie. To be honest, Mini did a great job of making the Countryman look more like a hatchback than a compact crossover and SUV that it is. But when it really comes down to it, the Countryman here is similar in size to the likes of the Fiat 500L and 500X and the BMW X1 and X2. That said, the JCW here, which is the high performance division of Mini, gets some model exclusive aggressive touches like the two-tone color scheme with the red roof, red side view mirrors, red trim around the grill, and much more. You also get John Cooper Works badging all around this car, including the one on the grill, the one on the wheels, the one on the side sill right here, and then of course there's one in the back right here. You also have a choice of 18 inch or 19 inch alloy wheels depending on the model you get, and you also have dual exhausts which sound really nice and they are real, and for those of you wondering, yes, this thing does have real vents. By the way, before we move on, it took me a while to fall in love with these weird headlamps, but they are pretty cool when you have the indicators on, and then you have a mini logo hidden right there. And then I really love the tail lamps here. They have a really cool 3D design. And to be honest, I would love the Union Jack taillights here, but these are not bad at all. Now let's talk about cargo capacity since this is a crossover slash a hatchback or whatever you want to call it. You have a button right under the mini logo. Once you get it open, you have 17 cubic feet behind the second row. And with the second row folded, you have 47.4 cubic feet. And then you have this little area here if you want to hide some things that you don't want other people to see. But the most annoying thing here is that you can't fold the second row seats from back here. Let me show you a closer look. Now say you want to make use of all the 47.4 cubic feet of cargo capacity. You can't fold the second row from back there. You have to come here, pull these little latches to fold the seats down. That's a bit annoying. I wish you could just do it right from the back. All right, now let's hop inside the 2020 Mini Countryman JCW. And once you get inside, you'll find the funky stylish interior that Mini is well known for, along with some very high quality materials. Being a division of BMW, it's no surprise that the Countryman JCW has a very quality built cabin. As we saw earlier on in this review, the highlight is definitely the center display and all of the lights, but overall, it's a very fun and quirky place to be. Shout out Doug DeMero, I use quirky, it's copyrighted by him. That being said, my favorite thing about all Mini interiors are the toggle switches. It's definitely a unique style of doing buttons, and it makes it seem like you're getting ready to fly a jet absolutely love messing around with the buttons in here now when it comes to the jcw sports seats i personally didn't find them particularly comfortable and it's a bit shocking that you don't have automatic seats in a fifty thousand dollar plus car nonetheless you do get heated seats as standard but i would love to have automatic seats i don't need to be sliding around manually in a fifty thousand dollar plus car as for rear legroom, you get 37.4 inches of rear legroom. I'm about six foot tall. That's my seating position here. As you can see, not terrible, but not great either. You have your own climate vents back here along with USB-C charging, not regular USB. So if you want some fast charging, you'll like it back here. And that's pretty much about it. Now let's get into the tech, starting with the gauge cluster. There's not much digital stuff. It's a full analog display. The coolest thing here is probably not my favorite, but you can add on a heads up display as an option and it comes sliding out from this little glass screen right there. And that's your heads up display. I'm not a fan of that because it comes in the way. So I'm just gonna put it back and hide it. I don't need a heads up display at all. Now, depending on the model or the options you go for, you can get the full cool infotainment here and it is housed in a touchscreen display 
or you can control it through the iDrive style knob. So if you're a fan of BMW, you'll feel pretty familiar with everything going on here. Now it's pretty easy to use once you get the hang of it. This is your main menu and then you can circle around here through your options. You have Mini Connected, you have My Mini for your settings and such, your navigation, your media radio, uh, your, I was about to say WhatsApp because that looks like a WhatsApp icon, but that's your communication and your notifications. You do have wireless Apple CarPlay if you go for the top level Mini Countryman JCW. Now, before I get into giving you my opinion on how it is to drive the 2020 Mini Countryman JCW all four, let me point out a few random things that I always love to show you. Starting with the cup holders, you only have two real cup holders in the front. The rear passengers don't get a center armrest, so they don't have a real cup holder, but they do have bottle holders right down there. Next thing I wanna show you is a center armrest. It's not closed off, it's wide open, so you can see everything that's in there. And I have the mini key right here, which I always find pretty interesting. Having this in your pocket is kind of a weird feeling. There is this little closed off area, but that's just your wireless charger, which is optional. Let's hear the door open and close sound on the 2020 Mini Countryman JCW All 4 from the outside and from the inside. Pretty solid. And then let's start with the Mini Countryman JCW All 4 and hear the funny mini tone. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And then obviously let's hear how the horn sounds on the 2020 Mini Countryman JCW All 4. I'm so tired of saying that, but here it is. Pretty nice. I did not expect that at all. Now that I've given you a tour of the 2020 Mini Countryman John Cooper Works All 4, let me give you my opinion on what I think about this awesome hot hatch, hot crossover, whatever you want to call it. Let's get to it. Now, like the BMW X2 M35i, the Mini Countryman JCW here is powered by the same 301 horsepower engine, but unlike the X2 M35i, this one here is a little bit more funky and a little bit more unique. Also, unlike the X2 M35i, the Countryman JCW here is a little bit more spacious, so you have more rear legroom and you have a little bit more headroom. This thing is honestly so much fun to drive when you pop it in sport mode, the exhaust sound is so nice to hear. Nonetheless, it's very hard for me to justify personally spending more than $50,000 on a Mini. You really have to be a big fan of Mini as a brand to spend that kind of money on a John Cooper Works Countryman. But if you do, I totally understand. At least this thing here costs $4,000 less than the X2 M35i, and you get to be a little bit more unique and cool. Either way, thanks for hanging out with me today. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Omar Drives. You can also follow me on TikTok at Omar Drives. I'll see you next week. Take care. Peace. Pop it in sport mode.